by success or whatever you call it is because of a series of things that happened like the war with my father and I. We live a very comfortable life. I went to the best schools and, uh, you know, had uh, lessons in, in music and in Chinese. We had a lot of good friends and when he died, my mother realized that uh, he had mortgaged everything. And well, everything was taken from us, including our house. That was the most, most uh, painful thing was the, was the house. I lived there for 12 years. When I was 15, the war broke out, right? My first business venture was to, to buy a bicycle and uh, went to the small towns to pedal, to, to attend the market. Taboan, uh, we call it. You know, you have to go there at about 5 in the morning, so you have to leave the house about 4. Then put in a table this small, about this size, and stay there the whole about 10 hours. You make, uh, I, mean, I thought I was making about 30, 40 pesos a day, you know. When you're 15, you're in a war, you either starve or you, you work. Life was difficult, food was hard, but you have to work. I did that about two times a, a week or three times a week. Two places like Mandawe, Liloan, Carmen, you know, places that are about 40 kilometers from Cebu. I think the training I had the last four years of the Japanese occupation, that was uh, the, the, the thing that really helped me uh, build up my, my business career first. The four years there with the bicycle and then a small store, you know, we, without any, there's no connections whatsoever. You just use your wits. I never thought of giving up. I, in fact, whenever times got tough, I, 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 I got tougher, you know. It built me up. After the war, 1946, I saw the big companies like Ayala and San Miguel were already very, very big. I said, my God, how do I reach that, uh, that, that height, you know? So I tried, and uh, I think we've hit that height.